r slash ask reddit by redmond ets what's a paranormal experience you've had the night my mom passed away my boyfriend and i stayed with my dad i couldn't sleep and was sitting in the living room with my back to the hallway i heard my dad get out of bed go down the hall close the bathroom door and then the water came on after a few minutes of the water running i went to see if he was okay the bathroom door was closed the water was on the room was empty, and my dad was sound asleep in his bed. This all happened at 3am. The next night, I woke up in my bed at the exact same time, only to have my dad call because he swore he heard my mom saying his name. For the week after she passed, we both woke up in different homes at the same time every night and then it just stopped. My brother saw someone when he was 2-3 years old. He often said, she's smoking. He said hello to her regularly when we got home. Later the neighbor told me that the previous owner was an old lady who smoked a lot. Also, the bedroom was always colder than the rest of the house. There was floor creaking every night. When I was 6, I went on a vacation with my parents. My mom and I went down to the pool, she went into the hot tub and I went swimming. I was in the middle of the pool and something grabbed the back of my head and pushed it further under the water. I came up freaking out thinking it was my mom but she was basically asleep in the hot tub which was not close in proximity to the pool. I've never forgotten it. There was also no one else there, just my mom and I. About 20 years ago, while driving alone across the country, I spent the night in a motel in a town that I'm pretty sure never actually existed. I'm still not convinced I didn't die that night in a car accident. January 1st 2003. A stretch of road between two coastal towns in Australia. It was a dark and stormy night. No really, it was. Driving along with my partner, I noticed a car coming up behind us, traveling fast. It was a single lane road so we couldn't move over. I said to my partner, this guy is in a hurry, let him overtake you. My partner agreed and he moved left as soon as there was an overtaking lane. The car pulled up beside us and then disappeared. There was nowhere it could have gone. We sat in silence for a few minutes and I said, Did you see that? He said yep. Back in the 90s we lived in a trailer from the 60s or 70s and it was run down so bad that the only place that would retain heat was in the living room. While I was young and my mother and I were sleeping in the living room to keep warm with good view into the kitchen area. In the middle of the night we heard a noise and looked in that direction and we both saw two distinct white translucent apparitions float into the out of the kitchen. We have never talked about it but I definitely remember that as a child. Going back further when I was in kindergarten we live in another house and the room I was in I would wake up every night with nightmare or night terrors but only in that room. Apparently the realtor, after the fact, told my mom that a man died in that room before we bought that house. My dad said he never saw my mother slap a person until the day she was told that. When I was younger my dad brought me home an expensive Ferrari remote control car. Had working lead headlights and everything. I was messing around with it one night until it died completely. I just left it in the corner of the living room then went to bed. Next morning about 6am I'm getting out of the shower and the car's headlight were on and it was facing the bathroom door right outside of it. I was the only one awake. I thought my dad was pranking me so I went upstairs and opened his door. He was asleep. Still no explanation. When I was a child, I would get scared from my bedroom door randomly opening at night. There would be no one behind the door who opened it, the door would just go from closed to creak open slowly. Later when I grew up, I found out the real cause of that phenomena. When my parents closed their door to their separate bedroom, the air pressure in the house would briefly raise, and the air pressure would cause my door to swing open. In my early 20s I spent the night at my boyfriend's aunt's house. Woke up in the middle of the night and there was a woman sitting on the end of the bed staring at me. Scared to death I closed my eyes and would not move. Next morning told boyfriend about it and described the woman. The aunt brought out a picture of the woman I described and it was his great grandmother who was deceased. The photo was exactly her. Would never spend the night there again. Not sure if paranormal but it was a strange experience. 
I had to be to work early one morning but I forgot to set my alarm the night before. At the time I would have had my alarm set for, a piece of artwork on my wall basically exploded off of the wall and broke into a bunch of different pieces. Absolutely no explanation for it but it saved me from being late. I used to live in a house in the UK. Built hundreds of years ago. The landlords would always say they thought it was haunted. Well, in the townhouse, I was on the third story up all alone one day. There were cracks in the door that kept getting visibly bigger and bigger. I was lying there just looking at them when the lights that shine through the cracks turned dark as if someone had just walked past the door. Also, I heard someone whisper mine and my siblings names into my ear while I was just laying there in bed. I was young and terrified lol. When I was a kid, about 5 or 6 years old, we would usually celebrate Christmas or New Year at our ancestral house in the province. On one of those nights, there was a power outage. Me and my cousins were left upstairs as the adults were preparing dinner downstairs. My playful cousins played hide and seek. I was just there in the living room sitting quietly while playing brick game, the one with the backlight. When I looked up, I saw an old lady sitting on the rocking chair and she was playing cards. She smiled at me and said, Nina Muai Hermosa. I smiled back and just asked if she's been sitting there for a while and apologized I didn't notice. She just kept quiet and kept playing with her cards. Dinner came, we were all called. After saying grace, I asked my mom. Mommy, aren't we going to ask Lola upstairs to come have dinner with us? They were all wondering who I was pertaining to because there wasn't any old woman in that house. It was years after I returned to our ancestral house. That's when I saw an old photo hanging on the wall at my grandfather's dental clinic. Back then dental clinics are based at home. Apparently it was my great great grandmother. I never met her. She died decades before I was even born. It was years further when I figured out what she told me, when my grandmother went home from the US and stayed for several months with us and spoke in Spanish. Dunno but that phrase always stuck on me. One night when I was a kid I randomly woke up in the middle of the night and looked out my window. There was a glowing green figure outside with a glowing green bicycle. I haven't told this to anyone yet. This happened maybe two years ago. I was asleep taking a nap in the living room, when I woke up to my dad saying, watch out for your mom, so I got up, went to look for my mom and found her passed out in the bathroom. She had really high blood pressure, to the point where internal organs were in danger. We could get help fast enough, so things could be settled with medications only. If my dad wouldn't have waken me up, things could have ended worse. He died 5 years prior to that event from leukemia. That's all folks. Thank you for watching. If you like videos like this one, why not like and subscribe for more? Have a nice evening.